fascia in your calves and what to do about it. That's what this video is today from Mobility Mastery. I'm Alicia and I'm going to show you how to release your calves in the most powerful way I know of on your own if you're not going to use me. And this isn't my invention. It's coming from Kelly Starrett and Mobility Wad and I've kind of modified it a little bit, not that much. Certainly not claiming um, to have invented this technique, uh, but it's something I just want to show you guys. Um, and I just want to say that tight calves can plague people. A lot of my clients have tight calves and they can cause so many issues. So this one technique is going to give you a whole lot of bang for your buck. Tight calves or tight fascia in your calves is going to cause stuff like shin splints, Achilles issues or Achilles pain, plantar fasciitis, um, knee pain, uh, even so-called iliotibial band syndrome or IT band syndrome. Um, which is usually diagnosed, knee pain diagnosed as ITD um, issues, uh, but in my experience it comes from tight calves, especially the upper portion. And I showed you that in my other video, how to foam roll for knee pain. Um, but today we're going to take stretching out your calf or foam rolling for your calf to kind of a new level. It's pretty terrible. <laughs> it's one of the worst things you can do to yourself as far as releasing fascia goes, and that's actually really good news because it means it's effective. Um, it's pretty hard to pin um, your own fascia and stretch it effectively, but this actually does a really good job. Um, so I'm going to show you it a couple ways here. Um, we're basically going to use one leg on the foam roller, um, one calf and shin, and we're going to use the other shin, basically your bone here and the weight of your body to pin it to the roller and then you're going to use movement to stretch it out. And what that looks like from this side, so I'm going to put my left calf up there kind of on a diagonal, and then I'm going to kind of scoot forward a little bit and then place my right leg parallel to the foam roller, right on that calf, and then I'm going to just sit down and put as much body weight as I can. I'm really only using my hands for balance, um, and then you're going to point and flex this left foot, point and flex, you might circle, so you're using plantar and dorsiflexion and then rotation to get as many of those spots as you can. Then you can roll um, in such a way that you can go higher on the calf. You can go way down low and get the Achilles area. That is really good. If you have really tight Achilles and bad plantar fasciitis, you want to make sure to get this stuff down there. You probably have some gunk in there. Um, and I'm going to just show you it this way really quick in case you couldn't see that all that well. So left leg parallel, right leg, or excuse me, left leg at a diagonal, right leg parallel, sit down, pin that tissue, and then point, flex, point. So you're gonna do the right leg, which looks like this. Sit down, and my left was a lot worse. <laughs> and you might find that's true too. If that is true, you'll wanna do that one a little bit more than you do on the one that doesn't hurt as bad. So oh, that's a good spot though. So especially for you guys, like I said, with plantar fasciitis, Achilles issue um, issues, that low gunk that you get down by your Achilles is going to be just gold for releasing fascia that's causing all kinds of issues down there um, in the foot and the heel. And um, the reason this works so much better than static stretching um, is because you're actually pinning that fascia and releasing it instead of, let's say, you know, um, a static stretch for your calf might look like this. And basically what you're doing when you do that is you're putting a strain on all the tendons and ligaments and muscle tissue, um, you know, all the way up and down your calf. And you're not actually stretching the fascia. The fascia, the tight, fascia that's like beef jerky in there is just kind of having to like go along for the ride and it doesn't want to. Um, this post was prompted by somebody messaging me about plantar fasciitis that was getting worse with some of these static stretches. So um, I wanted to give you something that you can use to address kind of all of these issues. It's one of my favorite things to do um, before a workout. I will usually roll out my quad, ITB, um, and calves specifically. Um, those would be my top two um, to do. 
So I hope this is helpful and let me know what you think.